Hello my friends, this is the Hebrew Jamaican Coolie back again with another video and I just wanted to make this video as a reply to a commenter. She made some very good points and I felt like I wanted to address it because there's a lot of truth in it, especially where my experience is concerned about my mother and father. Now you guys know that about a year ago I did the video on that and you know what she talked about in the comment was actually like very close to home where my mother and father is concerned and i want to talk about it because i think it's important like i said before i'm about truth and i'm about facts i'm not about feelings you know a lot of us men always talk about truth and facts and stuff like that but can we handle the truth when when it comes to us and yes of course we know that you know nowadays women did don't like it but there's a lot of us too that don't like it when truth is spoken about us so you know i'm i'm i'm, I'm dedicating this video to talking about you know black men that are very harmful for black women and you know if a woman is submissive and well-meaning and she has resources monetary resources there are a lot of harmful black men that this woman should not be with and we're not gonna talk about her making choices or stuff like that because you have a lot of men that deceive women and we need to really and truly be honest you have men that are not well-meaning in our society and we should look down upon them and we should talk about how these guys are scumbags and filth you understand i talk about black filth this is a part of the black filth as well men that produce nothing black men that produce nothing but thoughts ideas and dreams you understand now you have a lot of black men them won't become rappers them won't become this them won't become that right and you have a lot of black women that basically they're very well educated they get duped into the dream because they love the black man and they're 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 very submissive highly submissive to this particular black man right and basically what happened is that she ends up spending her money to practically you know she's working hard maybe she's a waitress maybe she's working in corporate maybe she has you know real estate that she's renting out and she's using that money to basically fund this man's lazy lifestyle and i've said it many times because i've had many friends that basically they wanted to you know go for their rap careers and stuff like that and you know what i said to them brother you have to put that on the back burner right now you're you're old you're 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 a grown man put that on the back burner i never said to make the dream die but here's what you do Go get a job because you have a woman. Go get a job, right? And then you use that job to take care of yourself, save a piece by piece, and use those pieces to pay for your, your um, studio, studio time, studio hours. You understand what I'm saying? But there are many men out there that are very comfortable and I believe that this is wrong right there are many men that are out there that are comfortable with black women taking care of them and it's wrong if you are comfortable as a man with a woman taking care of you you're filth you're filth if a woman is working and you're working and she's making more than you that don't matter you understand that don't matter at least you're working but if you as a man sit down and make no woman take care of you you are a work yo in a jo jamaica we say yo them your man a worthless man worthless man you understand no man supposed to make no woman take care of them unless them depend on disability or unless them 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 ask the wife to hold it down because they can't find another job for a while. 
but I've never known like a lot of the people that I know they don't want no woman taking care of them I don't want no woman taking care of me I don't want that um, especially for me right now I'm the breadwinner of my family my wife is a stay at home mom you understand I might not make a lot but she can spend without hustle whatever I make you understand the only thing I ask my wife is how much you spend right and uh, what you spend it on and if she even asks me for something I'm sorry that I'm pausing so much because like I said before I'm driving if she even asks me for something I usually I don't tell my wife no I tell her to wait I tell my wife wait and the reason why I tell her wait is for me to accumulate the amount that she's about to spend and that's the most important thing for me that you know to be able to put back whatever it is that she spends because you know we, we got bills and we have four children so I have to prioritize you know what we spend but I never tell my wife no I don't I like I've tried I've done my best to make it a duty to not tell my wife no but back to the topic of you know there being harmful black men that basically drain the resources of black women and you know there are men out there that basically they have this dream and that dream and whatever it is you know they have this dream and that dream and they practically you understand what I'm saying they practically they don't work towards the dream and they want the woman they allow the woman not even want but they sit down and allow the woman to finance that dream they don't put anything towards that dream except for hard work which is okay but you have to finance your own dreams because nobody is going to believe in the dream unless you believe in the dream yourself like i said before when i was opening up my gym back home and this was before i met my wife way before i met my wife that's what i was like saying in the comment section too i was telling the woman that when i owned my gym it wasn't I, I wasn't married at the time i was a young man i was about 27 years old 27 to 28 years old when i opened up my gym and when i was opening up my gym like nobody nobody that i told that i would open up my gym believed in me nobody believed in me so i said okay nobody don't believe in me i believe in myself because it seems like the best person to believe in me is me so i got up with the little money that i saved i bought the little bit of equipment i rented the venue and i started my gym and within the first month i made a huge profit right i made a huge profit and then of course you know the end story the same month that I made a huge profit is the same month my gym was vandalized. And because I didn't have any, you know, money to restart the gym. And because I didn't want to do stuff to the people that I know were sent. I know the people who, who sent the people to vandalize my gym. And because I didn't want to retaliate a certain way like how Jamaicans normally retaliate. I decided that I would leave the island and that I would basically you know I would basically start over anew in America in any case I hope this answer well not even that let me finish up this part um there's a there are black men that basically they dream a lot of dreams and the dream about okay I want to do this business the woman finances that it fails then he says he wants to do this she finances it it fails then he says he wants to do this she finances it it fails you understand some of us don't have very solid ideas and we don't even test it before asking for finances like I said before, the person who is supposed to believe in you is you first. And you need to, like, if you look at Shark Tank, 
they ask you questions that are important. They ask you what they're, what they're basically looking at is the sustainability of the product that you've provided or that you've started. Now, when you basically start something as a black man and you want somebody to believe in you, you have to basically show them that the business can sustain itself. Um, like for me, in order to restart our gym or restart my gym, I'm going from grassroots. I'm going to start from grassroots, meaning I'm basically going to start over from the bottom, not the top. I'm not going to buy a building. I'm not going to, I'm not going to rent a building. I'm not going to start that way. I'm going to start from the bottom, which means that I'm going to just go into schools with equipment, charge the schools for, for, for classes, and then I'm going to work my way up there because that's how I started off back home. You understand? So what the wife is going to do is basically she's going to, you know, help me with the flyers, help me with the, um, the, the, the administrative, which is what, you know, which is what her main role is going to be right now. And I'm going to finance it. I am going to finance it. And then now, when it gets to a point by which it, it actually needs to expand, that's when I'm going to seek, um, you know, other financial aid by asking maybe, you know, banks or institutions or whatever it is, I'm going to seek financial aid. So, yes, to answer your question, yes, there are lots of black men that, even though they may be well-meaning, they're very harmful for a black woman who, you know, maybe have her stuff together and this guy don't have anything together, you know, um, and ends up, maybe if it's love or whatever it is, but love is not enough sometimes or the wrong type of love, and I've spoken about this as well, the wrong type of love is not good. It's not enough. Because if I love my wife, I don't want to see her in poverty. I'm going to do everything I can to keep her off the street. Same thing as my children. If I love my children, I'm going to keep them off the streets. I'm going to do everything I can to make sure they have food, clothing, shelter, amenities underneath them belt. You know what I mean? No man who truly loves any woman is going to be okay with that woman, basically. You understand what I'm saying? So that's why when a lot of people talk about, you know, building with a man. Yes, that's okay. Build with the person. Build with the person, but you have to find the right person to build with. Because a lot of men don't know how to build. They don't know how to start from the um, bottom and work their way to the top. They don't have any ambition to go to the top. And there's a difference between you being stable and being okay with where you are and there's nothing really affecting you and you being at the bottom and being okay with where you are and asking somebody to suffer along with you. So you don't want somebody to suffer along with you because you don't even like to suffer. All right, you as a black man don't even like to suffer. I don't like to suffer. So why would I, why would I, in my suffering, ask a black woman to suffer with me? It don't make no sense. It don't make no rated sense. If you are a black man and you're suffering, and then you want to get into a relationship and talk about build, help, let us build together and, 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 and go to the top, no, it, it don't make no sense. Let's let's be let's have a lot of common sense when it comes to things like this. You understand? Both of you must be in a position to build together. But if you have nothing and then you want a black woman who has something to build with you just because you're a man, just because you're the leader and stuff like that, that don't make no sense. That don't make no sense at all. And we need to we need to really when we're talking about these types of conversations in terms of building a black man and building a black woman and building together, we have to really get down to the nitty gritty of what we are talking about, because there's going to be a lot of resentment on both sides. 
when a black man building and the black woman don't have nothing, you understand, him going to resent her because him going to feel like she's only there for the money and she never bring nothing to the table and she's this and she's that. And then likewise with the black woman, if she's this and she have all her stuff together, she don't have no debt, she have, she have her real estate, she have her other stuff, she making money and stuff like that and then she pick up a scabby. You understand? Scabby is a Jamaican word, word for a, a, a worthless man. For a worthless man. And she pick up a freaking scabby. And fund the man's dreams. And then end up in poverty. She gonna resent him. And she gonna resent herself for making that decision. You understand? So when we talk about building. You have to talk about building the right people. Building people who are ambitious in getting themselves to the top. No woman is actually supposed to be telling no man how to get to the top. Neither should she be pushing no man. Because the man's supposed to already have the ambition within himself. And the woman is only playing a supportive role in helping him get to the top. Do you understand what I am saying? No man. No man is supposed to be. Basically, you understand, dragging no woman down with him. It's not a good look for us as black men. It's not a good look for us to be dragging down any woman. You know, if we're down in the mud and a woman, she's, she basically have her stuff together or... You understand, it don't make no sense. We need to stop this mindset of, you know, unproductiveness. If it's a productive black man and him not make as much money as a black woman, there's a difference. There's a big difference because that man is still productive and that man can produce. But if it's a man where him basically him don't have a job, him have dreams, him have this, him have that, but he's not productive, no, that woman should not be getting with that man and that man shouldn't be looking to get, get, get with any woman until him get himself together. I don't believe in that. I've never believed in being with a woman and I, and I don't even have a job. You understand? I shouldn't be with any woman. I, I've said it before in my past videos. That no man, no man should be getting with a woman unless he has a job. You understand? And not just any job too. A job where, him, where he's able to even sustain himself in some way, shape or form. You understand? You're not supposed to be getting with anybody, any woman, until you basically can sustain yourself. If you can't sustain yourself, don't get with any woman. It's not a good look. It looks stupid. And it's trashy. Anyway, this is the Hebrew Jamaican Cooley. I hope you understand my video. See you in the next one. Enough love and respect. I am out.